Luigi, there's the constitutional question you raised, very important question. At the same time, it wasn't just any foreign uh, finance minister, I understand. It was somebody who was openly skeptical of Europe. Does that raise the question about whether if there is an election this summer, it really becomes essentially a referendum now on whether Italy will remain in the European Union? First of all, being Eurosceptic is not equal to wanting to get out of the Euro and, and then in what conditions. And, and it should not be a litmus test to govern. Uh, we are still a democracy in which people can have different ideas. Uh, second, I don't think that uh, the populist party want to make this uh, the center of the election. Also because, to be honest, uh, you cannot run an election with a spread uh, rising. Uh, this is part of the problem we are in. I think that uh, e even if Italy wanted to get out, it would be very, very costly to get out. And you certainly cannot run an electoral campaign because there would be a run on the bank as we vote. The, the idea of having a referendum of the euro that was advanced by Beppe Grillo several years ago is crazy. It, is actually understandable from a democratic point of view, but is incompatible with the financial system we have. So, so, Luigi, it sounds like you don't think that this is an existential crisis potentially for Europe. We had the Unicredit CEO on yesterday who said essentially he thought the markets were overreacting. Now, the markets have come back a bit today, but do you agree that the markets have overreacted to what's happened? Yeah, I think the market uh, overreacted a bit in, in the short term. Why? Because I think they were over over long on Italy on the basis that they are reaching for yield. It's very hard to get any yield in, in Europe, and uh, Italy is clearly uh, a, the, one of the highest yield in securities, uh, at least among the government securities, and that's the reason why people were very long on, on, the, on the, the Italian bonds, not because they believe so strongly in Italian fundamentals, but because uh, in the short term, uh, this was very convenient. And so they were there, but ready to jump out at the first sign of problems. And so when the first sign of problem came out, uh, they, they rushed for the door. Now, uh, this might not be in the short term an existential crisis for, you, for you, Europe or the euro, but the Italian situation is long-term problematic and is a problem that needs to be dealt. And you cannot just kick the can down the road. I think that the strategy for 10 years has been to kick the can down the road. Eventually, uh, you run out of uh, road to kick the can to. So, Luigi, if the interim government does actually form throughout the summer and they called you and said, come over here and be our finance minister for a couple months, would you do it? Uh, I don't engage in hypothetical. I think it depends what government is, what is the program, what is the situation. I I'm certainly willing to serve my country if I think I can be helpful. There are situations in which uh, you cannot be helpful. So uh, it's, it's so much of a contingency game that I don't think that it's particularly uh, interesting to answer this question.